What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp and Layout tutorial for you. So usually on Thursday I do a plug-in introduction video, but uh, this fit into my schedule a little bit better. I don't have as much time this morning. So I just wanted to make this video really quick and teach you how to create a visual scale bar within Layout 2018. Um, if you're looking for more layout resources, make sure you check out my layout resource page at the SketchUpEssentials.com slash layout. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. So this is actually a question that I've heard a fair number of times, which is how do you create a visual scale bar within layout? So sometimes you want a scale bar down at the bottom that indicates the scale visually, in addition to being able to label your scale on your floor plans. So this is our apartment floor plan that we've talked about before from uh, my apartment start to finish for layout series, which I will link to up above. But basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw a scale bar that's actually to the scale of the drawing in our layout documents. So I will note this the way that we're going to do this is only going to work in layout 2018. There's a new function they added called make scale drawing that make this makes this a lot easier. So if you're using an older version of layout, likely what you're going to have to do, there's a few different workarounds people have used. Likely what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to create the scale bar within SketchUp and then just bring it in as a separate viewport to scale. Um, but this way is going to be a lot easier. And so to do this, basically what we're going to do is you're going to go into your default tray and you're going to look for the option for scale drawing. And if you don't see the option for scale drawing, you can go up to window, scale drawing and make sure that's checked so that it shows up in your tray. And so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click this button for make scale drawing. And what it's going to tell you to do first is it's going to tell you to choose a scale. And so when you choose a scale, that's going to set what scale your drawing area is going to be. Um, so in this case, we're going to match up with the drawing. Um, we're going to match up with the scale that I had in my floor pen plan, which was a half inch equals one foot. So we're just going to click the drop down and we're going to go down to a half inch equals one foot and go ahead and click on it. And then basically what this says is it says click to start drawing at scale half inch equals one foot. Basically what that means is that means that now our scale bar or whatever we draw is going to be drawn at the scale of a half inch equals one foot on our plan. And so in this case, I'm just going to draw this out with the lines tool. You could also do the rectangles tool. Um, in this case, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come in here and I'm just going to draw a line from this point. And then I'm going to type in a length of one foot and hit the enter key. And then I'm going to do a one foot and hit the enter key again. And then I'm going to do a two foot two times in here. And then I'm going to do a four foot. And you can see how basically what I'm doing is I'm just kind of drawing this out um, with these different lengths in here. And so in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a thickness of six inches and we're gonna come back and we're gonna draw in here and then we're just gonna select the whole thing and we're gonna hold the control key and we're just gonna copy it down so remember the control key in layout puts you in copy mode and so in this case I'm just gonna come in and I'm just gonna draw lines at every one of these points and so I'm just drawing the line straight down and then I'm hitting the escape key because otherwise what this does is it tries to draw a shape in here. Well, all I want is the line. So once I've drawn the segment that I want, I'm just hitting that escape key. So now the way that I did this is I went in and I drew all my segments. I probably should have done it with rectangles, but I'm just going to go in and I'm just going to draw rectangles over the areas that I'm going to shade dark or shade black. And so now what I can do is I can come in here and I can select each one of these individually. And I'm just gonna do a shift click and select all of them. And then I'm gonna go up to my shape style function and I'm gonna set my fill in those areas to black. So I'm just gonna drag my slider down until this is down on black. And so now what I have is I have a visual scale bar that's in here that's actually at that scale. And you can see how when I click on it, this actually tells me this is it gives you a kind of a dotted line in here and it tells you that whatever's in this box is at one half inch equals one foot. And so in order to check this, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click and drag this over here. And if you remember, all my doors are in here at about three feet wide. And so 
if I was to take, if you remember, this is a two foot box and this is a one foot box. And I don't remember, I think this front door may be a little bit wider, but you can see just by looking at this, that this is about three feet wide. And so this is actually, this scale matches the scale in my drawing, but that's just a little visual double check in there. And so now you can just use the text function to come in and add labels. So I could come in and add a label here for two foot. And probably what we would want to do is we would want to go into the text style, text style function and center this. And then you can just hold the control key and click and drag to make a copy. And so then you can just come in here and you can just label your different widths in here. And then you could also come in here and you could add a label down below indicating that you're at a half inch equals one foot. And we'll just expand this out a little bit with the arrows. And there you go. Now you have a visual scale bar within layout that's actually to the scale of your drawing. So leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Um, was this helpful to you? What other tutorials would you like to see from layout? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing in this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.